The cat-cow stretch is a good one for working on different parts of the back, controlling the spine, and also making adjustments if you have any kind of pinching nerves or herniations. The most basic way of doing this is to make sure your hands are stacked underneath your shoulders and knees are underneath your hips. From here you'll move into the basic cat and cow poses by simply lifting the forehead, arching the back, and lifting the tailbone. And conversely, tucking the chin, lifting the spine toward the ceiling, and tucking the tailbone. You can also start to do this in increments by holding the rest of the spine still while trying to move each section of the spine one piece at a time, controlling the movement of the rest of the back as if you're trying to wave the spine. It can be done from front to rear or from rear to front. To do this, you have to have a lot of core control and you've got to really be in control of those hips. So try to practice one piece at a time, maybe focusing on only the front part for a while and then only the back part and then see if you can start to combine your arching and the bowing of your back.